See, this is a this is a specialty against like high elves and in general. This is just something I always enjoy doing. Uh, do Cygor spam. Uh, Mantle of Gorok is use. Nah, I don't like it as much against. Uh, Devolve is. I usually just take uh, Vile Tide because I want to be able to use Savage Dominion as much as possible, or at least twice. Uh, and then what you do is you bring Eye of Morsleeb along with just a secondary Cygor. And then you kind of build just a defensive army around it, which is kind of funny. Uh, Sons of Goros along with a Centaurs with Great Weapons to deal with any Cav. Uh, but otherwise, uh, generally, if you're going this route, I generally just take five Bestigors. Try to be defensive, but whole thing with this comp is uh, you try and use the because you summon a cygor you basically get triple cygor to start and you kill something you snipe it and best are then your best bet for actually holding a line uh so yeah Yeah, it's a it's a rare comp. Uh, I personally just enjoy playing it because it is nice and cheesy. Like I'll be very straight up, it's a very cheese oriented comp, and it either works or it really doesn't. Uh, let's see, how many does he have? Oh, he he actually went really elite. Uh, here's another thing. This comp works even better if you're facing someone who go who's going more elite rather than wide. Like doing this comp against someone like Skaven never will work because your cyborgs just don't have anything to snipe. But if you go with, but if they're an elite army, you can snipe a couple things. Or he brought double feral manticore. Or he went shade heavy. Oh, he brought Malekith on foot. Interesting.
There we go. And here's the thing. It might have hypo it was hypothetically going to be close. However, another thing to realize, uh, I have a full health I am Morsley. That thing does not die easily. Uh, while his comp was also decently cheesy, uh, the moment he brought a semi-elite army, he was a little screwed.